Hey guys, we're at Pedagos headquarters in Fountain Valley, California, and look at this warehouse. This is co-founder. We've got Don De Costanza, and Hello. then Paul, product manager extraordinaire, over there. I'm just, I'm so impressed. I remember coming to your old place, and uh, you were saying this is just one order going out today, right, Don? Yeah. This it's is awesome. uh, pre-season time, it's booming. I'm excited to go take a test ride because I'm on the new Elevate. It's this full suspension mountain bike with like a mid-drive and, and we got a dual motor, which, which that's the dual stretch. Dual stretch, yeah. Two, mo two motors on the stretch. That's coming out. I think we'll have those in the warehouse when? May? Yep. Fall? Yep. Yeah, we tested it last year and every big success, lots of pre-orders on it. Lots of excitement behind that. Cool. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit more after we get some lunch and uh, right. let's just head out there. We'll see you out there, Paul. See you there. Lots of bikes. There he is. Going that way. Okay. <laughs> Taco Maria, apparently. I promise you, you'll like it. <laughs> We had a little bit of a breeze coming on to this ride and yeah, it's it's awesome to have the assist. It just helps you cut right through. Forget how difficult it can be, especially on a full suspension mountain bike. Just trying to deal with the wind, getting around town. Paul's out there locking up the bikes. Just a beautiful day. Gonna eat at Taco Maria's. Well guys, we finished up lunch and I thought it'd be fun to sit down and talk with Don just about how things have been going with Pedego and what's new? Well, there's so much to talk about. You know, we've evolved from just being a beach cruiser company. Now we have 14 different models. We had 12 last year. We're uh, launching two more models this year. One a commuter bike and one a full suspension mountain bike. Speak of the devil. <laughs> this bike is sweet. I got to ride on the way over here. And uh, as someone with like a little bit of a sensitive back and neck, but still enjoy trail riding, I was surprised because this is like the first year that I'd seen any like mid drives from you guys. Normally it's it's more traditional. You got kind of the hub motors and throttle set up. Well, you know, the market's growing so much and there's so many more opportunities for people that are getting into the electric bike market. Uh, consumers that are interested in a variety of choices. So with a, over 100 Pedego stores, we want to make sure when somebody comes into a Pedego store that any model that they're looking for, we have an offering. And so we were lacking in the mid, mid drive and we were lacking in the full suspension mountain bike. Our mountain bike, our Ridge Rider, has been very successful, and we have the fat tire version, yeah. the Trail Tracker. Those trail have been tracker. phenomenally successful. <laughs> and now with the full suspension mountain bike, we're missing that higher category bike. And now we've got one we'll put up against anybody that's certainly got the specs to to, to uh, gain the attention of anybody interested in a full suspension mountain bike. Fantastic. I'm, you know, part of the reason that we're hanging out today is because I'm reviewing this bike, and I am excited about it. You know, this is the new Shimano E8000. Uh, motor system and a lot of the bikes that you carry a lot of the bikes I see in general have Shimano drivetrains So it's a it, well, you know the only the reason we arrived at the Shimano is all of our guys that work in our tech service department and our design department are all avid mountain bike riders So they went out and tested all the different systems We have every sample of every motor that's out there and they unanimously picked the the, the Shimano E8000 and I'm not a big fan of mid drives But since I rode this bike <laughs> I've become a fan of mid drives yeah? because there are ways to do mid-drives right, and Shimano dialed it in, to our, to our, in our opinion, to be the best value one out there. It's lightweight, it's very responsive, yeah. and I become a mid-drive fan because of the Shimano system. Is that how the, you've got the mid-drive city commuter too now, is it, you know? Well, the mid-drive city commuter, we hesitated to put a mid-drive because throttles are so important for so many of our customers. They wanna have that ability to not have to pedal if, they, if they've gotten tired, or they have some type of, uh, of ailment that causes them not to be able to pedal. So that was a requirement for us to do a mid-drive originally, was mm -hmm. to make sure that it had a throttle on it. So we developed that system that you have the best of all worlds. It's a throttle, it's a mid-drive, it's also got a great pedal assist system on it. So for the customer that's not sure what they want or thinks that they may need a throttle or wants pedal assist, they don't have to make a decision when they buy the bike. They can buy it now and then decide as they ride it what they like better. And we find customers that think they want 
a pedal assist end up liking the throttle. We find people who think they like the throttle liking <laughs> the pedal assist, and they don't know until they've ridden it. You kind of get everything. I, I love, okay, so I was hanging out with Paul. He's the product manager guy. He's been here for seven years or something. Yeah. Really, really good guy. And we were talking about how all the systems have been updated. So now you have like a torque sensor option, you have cadence sensing option, you got your throttle. It kind of does everything, including, uh, you know the traditional interceptor that you've got here that's your personal bike right yeah this is my my work bike this yeah. is the one i ride when i'm at work i live a little too far away to ride to work so at home i have a platinum mm -hmm. but i enjoy this we've just refined the bike since we started this company 10 years ago our models have not changed we we develop classic designs we don't have model years but we're constantly refining it so this bike even though it's 10 years old in the, in, the, in the concept, this bike is probably two or three years old. It get constantly refined. We pick better components as the electronics get better, as the suppliers are able to provide us better componentry, we constantly upgrade it. I'm almost embarrassed by the original bike we had, the kickstand we had, because good kickstands weren't available. Today we get the best kickstand, and we right down to the kickstand, we want to make sure we've got the best possible componentry we can use. Can I talk about some of the other new things coming for sure you can, we can talk about anything there's there's the one that it's, it's sort of a city bike right that's what's that one called the conveyor the conveyor we saw it at the warehouse and it wasn't quite ready for review yet i'm excited to come check it out but. yeah so the conveyor is simply a bike that uh, we put all the refinements in it that we thought a commuter would want most important is it's you know when you think conveyor what's the next word that comes to your mind belts belt yeah exactly. and it has so the it's belt a belt driven system. oh my gosh so we had the conveyor <laughs> we were going to call that the elevator <laughs> really yeah. Well, That's those cute. are the two names we came up, Conveyor and Elevator. Elevate. I but like I, Elevate a lot. But yeah. I got outvoted and Elevator they thought was not good. But Conveyor really talks about that bike because it's going to convey and take you places like an, a Conveyor would. Yeah. Um, but more importantly, it's got the belt drive and the in internal shifting so there's no derailleur on it. So it's a clean bike. It's got GPS tracking on it. It's got all the latest technology. Yeah, there's an app coming out, this Bluetooth app. You can you know where the bike is and you can share riders with friends. There's a lot of uh, technology that's coming out. And we baked that into that bike. So I think you're really gonna enjoy riding that bike. And it's stylish. We integrated the battery in it and we've integrated the motor in it. Uh, you'll, it's a very clean bike and I think it's gonna appeal to a, another, another segment of the customer. So we had 12 models. The 13th was the Elevate and the 14th will be the Conveyor, which will be a true bike for city commuters. Now, okay, so can I talk about that other one behind sure, me? Sure, you can talk about it. Okay, so this this is like a two-motor Pedego Stretch, which is their cargo bike, and apparently the rear motor is geared for power and climbing. The front one's more for speed, so it actually gets similar, maybe even better range. It, yes, it actually gets much better range because the motors are tuned to when you're gonna use it. So you've got a low speed and a, and, and a high speed motor, and they're both efficient in their own things. And when you're climbing a hill, both will be utilized. So huh, that is awesome. It's also designed for people who wanna haul a lot of stuff and a lot of weight, or they wanna make sure they're gonna zip up the hills. Most of these bikes will do great on level, do well going up hills, but they'll slow down a little bit on a hill. If you wanna maintain full speed up going up a hill, then the dual drive is a solution. And it was based on customer demand. And we actually towed a car at our dealer conference. We I demonstrated heard about that. This. We hooked up a cable and we huh. pulled a car along to show with the one power bike. With, with one, one bike. bike. Wow! You had to put it in neutral, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, okay. And the car <laughs> rolled, but it, it was able to move a four thousand pound car. That's intense. Towing. Yeah, yeah and really it exciting. speaks to the the possibilities. We were talking and been reviewing the bikes, and there was the. Uh, the woman who had, had weighed a little bit more and then was using Pedego as a way to get outside and ride, and I think she was 400 plus pounds. So, you know, it does speak to the quality, the thicker spokes and stuff like that that you guys use and, and the more powerful motors. And well, yeah, and we've also added the magnesium wheels. So for the people oh, who are right. more, our, our, our recommended weight is 250 pounds. Mm -hmm. But if they weigh over that, then I, we suggest they get the magnesium wheel. They're a lot stronger, yeah. they're lighter, and they look cool. So yeah. most of the people who buy them don't necessarily buy them for the weight. They look at them because they look really cool. Yeah. So we put those on the interceptor, and starting next month, they're going to be av available for the city commuter as well. Okay, fantastic. And what's in terms of customer? So, you know, Pedego has these shops like all over the world, and you can go and you can test ride the bikes and stuff, which I'm a big fan of, and you get the support and, and that kind of thing. What, what's the warranty now, Don? Our warranty is two years on everything. It's almost a no questions asked warranty. And the reality is if somebody has a problem even after that time, and we view it as a manufacturer defect where it wasn't made properly, we step up and take care of the customer. I think you'll find from our reviews we're the best reviewed bike uh, company out there because we, we have a basically a no excuses company. We're a company of yes. We don't know is in our vocabulary. 
And if somebody wants something, our general answer is yes. What are some of the other public, so, you know, people know me, Electric Bike Review, but where can other, you know, some other reviews and articles, where, where do you? Well, we, we rely on an independent review company um, that's called Customer Lobby. Okay. And people can go on there and review, they're just strictly for pedagogues. Yeah, there's real people that go on there and post and they tell a little story. So if you go to Customer Lobby Pedago, or you go to our website, you can see the reviews from just purely Pedago customers, what they think, and it's not perfect. In fact, I'm glad we got a few negative reviews because if they're all 100% perfect, yeah. then people might doubt the yeah. authenticity of it. So there are a few negative reviews on there, but out of 400 and some odd, I think there's only a handful. There was a ride that you did recently, and this is what it was. I think it was Electric Bike Action that did it with your family. Is that the so one? So Christmas Eve day, my daughters, we always do something fun together. And this year I said, we're going to go mountain bike riding. So yeah. we borrowed two of the uh, Elevate uh, prototypes and a ridge rider, we went up and rode on the hills up in Crystal Cove State Park cool. down to Laguna Beach, and we all got to love it. In fact, at that time, I discovered that, that, that electric bike mountain biking is kind of like skiing, but without all the misery. Yeah. So when you're riding on a mountain bike, you don't have the cold, you don't have to, you don't have the gloves and all that and the, and, and the gear. So riding an electric mountain bike has the same thrill of skiing but without all the headaches. Okay, well cool. So if you, you know that there's an article out there, electric bike action, and then you've, maybe you've, there was just something in Brain Bicycle Retailer Magazine that was talking about your mountain bike and stuff. So you're all over the place. Where, tell me where all, some of the countries and some of the new shops. The, the most whatever. exciting thing I did this year was I was at Eurobike and I got bored after seeing the same old stuff. So I decided, I looked at the map and saw Prague is only five hours away. So I jumped in my rental car and, and raced across Germany to get to Prague. Yeah. And I took a three and a half hour tour on Prague on a Pedego from our Pedego store there. Wow. Did it you see that fabulous. clock, that like old I clock? Saw, I saw everything. Three and a <laughs> half hours I saw all of Prague. Nice. This summer I'm gonna go to Dublin. Uh, last year I went to Auckland where we have a, uh, a, a, a tour company. And Washington, D.C. was one I did as well last year. Best way to see Washington, D.C. is on an electric bike. Because that's one of the things. A lot of the shops do offer the tours. The guided tours are the best way for people to get an experience on an electric bike. And I tell everybody, don't go out and run out and buy an electric bike. Go out and rent one or, t or, or take a tour. And that'll give you the experience to decide if it's right for you. So don't run out, again, don't run out and buy anybody's electric bike. Go out and drive them. And the longer you ride them, the more likely you're gonna to wanna to have one of your own. Fantastic, I agree. I, you know, I started out in this like 2012. I was living in Austin, riding my bike to work, my regular bike. And then I bought an electric bike online and I had to unpack it and build it. And I just, I struggled with it a lot. And it was an off brand that you, you couldn't really sell very easily. And then my first real electric bike was uh, the Pedego City Commuter. You did. You bought it from Rocket Electric. Rocket Electric. Now has evolved and is now launching this weekend. Is going to be uh, is is converted from Rocket Electrics to Pedego Austin. They've decided oh, wow. that our brand is the right brand for them to represent. That's after six years of offering other brands. That's awesome. Do you have any other shout outs? I mean, this has been a fun chat. But... Well, yeah, I mean, I think the, the most important thing I'd like to say is, is that uh, electric bikes offer, any anybody's electric bikes offer a degree of fun that you can't experience. I, can't, I could spend two hours here talking about how it's fun it is. Until you go ride one, you're not gonna know it. So go, go any one of our 100 and some odd dealers have bikes for rent. They'll all let you rent them. Or they'll let you take them on an extended test drive. Just go try one. And we have now 14 different models Find one that fits you, that you feel comfortable with, that you like, that has the right style. And most important for any ladies out there, I know color's important to you. We know from experience that the number one question that men ask is, how fast do they go? <laughs> and the women ask, what colors do they come in? Yeah. <laughs> so we have 12 different colors on, on most of our models so that everybody gets what they want. And the answer, how fast they go, they all go 20 miles an hour, except our new conveyor will be a class three bike, will go 28 wow, miles. Wow, there you go. That's the city one I was talking about. That okay, one that's is, great. can be bought as a class two bike. You can ride on the bike path. But if you don't want to ride in the bike path and you want to ride out on the street, then you order it's a class three bike. Like in bike, the lanes. You can still ride in the bike lane. You can ride in the bike the, yeah. lane. You just okay. can't ride on the off-road paths in a lot of places. That makes sense. And look, guys, I know this is, it's kind of like we're talking all about Pedego and stuff like that. I have the independent reviews that I do, the videos and stuff back at the website, but it's really an honor and it's kind of fun to talk. You know, you're one of the co-founders and we have like a, a long-standing friendship and it's just neat to hear that you're doing well and get the updates. Well, Court, as you know, as I've told you before, you're the king of this. You, you do the best job with unbiased reviews about different companies and different products that are out there. And I think you've done a phenomenal job. We kind of grown together in this business. I remember when you got your first city computer. <laughs> I and called you. did you. your I first like, review and we chatted. Yeah. And since then we've been, you're always welcome to visit us and we're happy to show you what we have. Thank you so much, Don. Uh, keep up the great work and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Corey.
Okay, guys, I couldn't leave without showing you the Experience Center. We got some of those bikes here. Uh, take me around, Don. What's going on? What are we looking at? Well, first of all, we built this because we get a lot of customers. They're local from all over the world. We get potential dealers. So we built an Experience Center. We don't sell bikes here. We only put them on display so people can get a flavor for what we have. As I mentioned earlier in talking to Court, we have lots of different models. We have a three-wheel bike, the trike. This is so cool. I remember you launched that. This, this is... has been a huge, much more successful than even I thought it would be. It's just a killer product because people who can't balance, yeah. they still want to go out and have fun, and we've designed one that's as safe mm -hmm. and well-balanced as we possibly could. Mm -hmm. Then we have the folding bike. Some people have limited space, or they want to carry it on an airplane or on a boat. I saw that picture of the airplane recently. People buy them. A lot of Tesla owners buy them, and they put them in the back of their car. They can put two of them back there, so when they stop to supercharge for an hour, they can go explore the area hey, around. That's a great idea. That's our Platinum. That's our top-of-the-line bike with the mag wheels. That's my favorite bike. That's what I have at home. That's our top-of-the-line cruiser bike. I never believed that we would sell a $4,000 cruiser bike, but we sell a lot of them. And people appreciate the componentry that we put on and the extra features that have on. And of course, we've got our mountain bike range, our city commuter. We now have a whole line of Pedego wearables. Huh. A lot of our customers want to wear, like Harley Davidson has jackets and clothes. We now have a whole line of wearable clothing yeah, some, that yeah. people have it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I like um, the high visibility. I just want to point out sometimes if you are a commuter or something, you know, having the bright yellow is is a nice touch as an option. Yeah, and we and, and the brightness is important, but also people are really wanting to 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 uh, connect with the brand. So we've come up with a lot of different things. We've had the watches for a long time, but we now have the Pedego sunglasses. So a lot of people come and they come to rent the bikes, they huh. forget their sunglasses, so we have sunglasses. Whoa, so can I try these Gordon, on? Those are yours, look oh at that, my they gosh. match your helmet perfectly. What do you guys think? You huh? can keep those, take those home with you. <laughs> How's you. that, they look good on you actually. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> um, we also have the mile marker, so now when customers achieve certain miles, they get an award, so if they get, they, when they become an owner, they join the Pedego Owners Group, and then they have 100 mile, 1,000 miles, 2,500 and 5,000 mile markers. Wow. And we're coming out with the 10,000 and the 20,000 markers. We've got one customer that's ridden his bike 40,000 miles. Oh my god! His gosh. original city commuter. We took it on trade. It's now on display at Pedego Naples. We hung it up on the wall. We gave him a brand new one. And we hung that one to show how long the bikes last. Gee whiz. How many years was that? It was a couple years? Uh, years? No, in his case, he's had it for six years. Six years. He's 82 years old yeah. and he rides every day. And huh. he just loves it. He did. He just, and there's a video on our line you can go look at yeah, under Love you, Stories. All your stuff. shops have cool videos and stuff too. We that's make great. A shop. Yeah, we've got hats now. We've got, uh, you know, bags, backpacks, anything that somebody might want to have, uh, water bottles. Uh, we just got a full line of products that customers are asking us about, so we decided to come out with our own line. Sweet, sweet. Over here we, is more what our model stores look like now. We like to display our bikes in a nice, bright way. And so we can show the different models there. That's a 26 inch city commuter. That's our, uh, our, our cruiser bike with the mag wheels. I like that. Those are the sturdier, yeah, and very stylish. And by the That's way, cool. those are new colors this year. Those are all new colors. Huh. That's our new color. Um, and the city commuters will also be able to come with mag wheels starting in April. We then have our newest bike, which has been a big hit. It's called Grage. I'm not so sure we made the name up, but we couldn't huh. know to whether to call it beige or gray. Yeah. So we call it Grage. And we added a little red accent tires on it because it's kind of a little bit plain with that color. Wow. So I'm putting the wheels a little slightly different color. Made so about the tandem, this is popular for rentals, I bet. A, a friend of a family was, uh, was going, getting married and they wanted to ride. So they, both, they had Pedagos. They wanted to ride in on their Pedagos and then out on the tandem. Aww. So they rode Aww. to their wedding ceremony on their, on their Pedagos and then they left and they left on the tandem That's bike. It was sweet. a big hit. There's wow. all kinds of photos the union. about it. It was a lot of fun. That's fantastic. Was it this bike? or yeah, This exact bike. We, we loaned it to them. We took it off the show and we decorated it up for them and we shipped it out and we let them borrow it. They were a local customer. That's fantastic. And we just wanted to accommodate them. So then we're also getting a lot into uh, more and more accessories and bags and locks. So we have our own uh, upgraded seats now with memory foam if people want them. We have a whole bunch of new grips now. So people want a little more of a winged out grip. Not everybody likes the grip we put on the bike, so we have some upgraded grips. We've also uh, um, come up with a whole bunch more of uh, saddlebags, uh, different styles, different shapes. Yeah, I like, this is really professional, kind of clean looking. Yeah, it holds, a, it holds a, a laptop computer, an Apple computer will go in there very easily. Hmm. And the line's just, uh, just filling out as we go. We also began a relationship with Brooks, hmm. and we have a Brooks edition bike, so you can get the Brooks hand grips, the Brooks seat, and the Brooks bag on it, and you can get any of our bikes made in a Brooks edition, oh, cool. which is kind of fun. And then um, we have Thule. We've partnered with Thule. We're, we're a distributor for them now. We've identified the T2 Pro as the best bike 
rack for our bikes where they can train people love to transport their bikes and take them to different places so, so is this the one that's like a hitch rack that's a platform kind of thing yes or? it's exactly right so both of these are platform racks with an electric bike you really should have a platform to hang them on a regular rack they're just not designed to handle the weight so the right way to transport in our opinion an electric bike is to have a i call them feet something you can set the bikes on where the weight of the bike is resting on its tires yeah and the tires act as a natural shock absorber so the bikes get a much smoother ride i have one more tip all right uh take the battery out <laughs> before yes, you lift the, the battery out. Out. Yeah. Well, i've got another tip okay okay so i have sciatica which means i can't lift the bike up oh yeah so i pull the bike up next to the rack and i hit the throttle and i let the throttle the bike pull the front wheel up hmm. and then i set the front wheel in the boot and then all I have to do is lift and bring the other around. So I that never actually lift the bike up. I just shift the weight from one end to another. Oh, and that helps that. really well if you have a bike that has a throttle on, which by the way, most pedagogues do. That's right. Yeah, you've got that option. <laughs> and I noticed these helmets over here. We oh yeah, the Senna helmets. So these are awesome. So you can communicate. The, the first and most important feature I like is you can listen to music mm -hmm. while you're riding. So it's like a car radio. Without having earbuds in. No earbuds. Which you is... hear what's going around you, it's safe. And you can turn, the, and I use Pandora and I play my music when I'm riding. And then when I'm riding with somebody and have the same helmet, you can hit a button and communicate with them right behind you. You can the, you hit the button and now you're talking to your riders, up to four oh. riders. And if you connect with the app, you can do up to a thousand riders Whoa. at the same time. So and, and they can be riding anywhere in the world. So they could be riding somewhere else and you communicate with them using the cell technology. Whoa. They communicate. So you can so, talk, it's almost like having a phone call without, uh, yeah, I, that's amazing. And then speaking amazing. of a phone call, when the phone rings, you can answer here and talk just like people can't even tell. It's one of the best microphone, has a microphone and speaker, so you can use it as a speaker phone. Huh. It's hands-free talking. It's well, perfect. I appreciate that. These guys uh, had reached out to me a while back. They, I think they make motorcycle helmets. They do, they make too. all the Harley motorcycles. If anybody rides a motorcycle and they use the Harley technology on motorcycles, that's the technology they decided to put in a bike helmet. Huh. And we just stock, we stock all three colors and they're available through our dealers because we're looking for a helmet that people would really appreciate having riding an electric bike if they're riding with other people, they want to communicate. But most importantly, I like the radio function, being able to listen to music. Yeah, me too. Makes for a really fun ride. I think we got the full experience here. Again, just awesome. Need to see the updated colors and stuff. What's your website? Where do people go? Pedego.com. Okay. It's easy. P-E-D-E-G-O, just think ped. Add a little bit of E, which is either the E is either for energy <laughs> or, elect or, 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 or electricity, and then you go. So it's pet a go. Got it. Thanks, Don. All right. Thanks, Corey. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Woohoo! <laughs> Sweet.